Just where the heck are we going? We're snuggled in our little solar system, hurtling through the cosmos at a blindingly fast 2.2 million kilometers per hour. We're always orbiting this and drifting through that, and it's somewhere out in the region that's not as horrifically terrifying as what some of our celestial neighbors go through. But where are we going? Just around in a great big circle, or an ellipse, which is going around in another circle, and it's great big circles all the way up? Not exactly. Our galaxy and other nearby galaxies are being pulled towards a specific region of space. It's about 150 million light years away. And here's the best part. We're not exactly sure what it is. We call it the Great Attractor. And part of the reason the Great Attractor is so mysterious is that it happens to lie in a direction of the sky known as the Zone of Avoidance. This is in the general direction of the center of the galaxy, where there is so much gas and dust that we can't see very far into the visible spectrum. We can see how our galaxy and other nearby galaxies are moving towards the Great Attractor, so something must be causing things to go in that direction. That means either there must be something massive over there, or it's due to something even more strange and fantastic. When evidence of the Great Attractor was first discovered in the 1970s, we had no way to see through the zone of avoidance. But while that region blocks much of the visible light from beyond, the gas and dust doesn't block as much infrared and X-ray light. As X-ray astronomy became more powerful, we could start to see objects within that region. And what we found was a large supercluster of galaxies in the area of the Great Attractor, known as the Norma Cluster. It has a mass of about a thousand trillion suns. That's thousands of galaxies. And while the Norma Cluster is massive and local galaxies are moving towards it, it doesn't explain the full motion of local galaxies. The mass of the Great Attractor isn't large enough to account for the pull. And so when we look at an even larger region of galaxies, we find that the local galaxies and the Great Attractor are moving towards something even larger. It's known as the Shapely Supercluster. It contains more than 8,000 galaxies and has a mass of more than 10 million billion suns. The Shapely Supercluster is, in fact, the most massive galaxy cluster within a billion light years. And we, and every galaxy in our corner of the universe, are moving towards it. So as we hurtle through the cosmos, gravity shapes the path we travel. We're pulled towards the Great Attractor, and despite its glorious title, it appears, in fact, to be a perfectly normal collection of galaxies, which just happens to be hidden. So what do you think? What are you hoping we'll discover over in the region of space we're drifting towards? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. And we couldn't do this without the members of our Patreon community. People like Christine Reuter and the many others who join us to help create and deliver great space and astronomy content. If you'd like to join our community, which gets you advanced access to episodes as well as extras and behind the scenes content, click here and head on over to Patreon. What, what is it about us doing this? Does it just attract Chainsaw. Chainsaws and lawnmowers. I think, and yeah, I think, we, I think it's a weed whacker. Yep. The thing is, I, I feel like the more you try and emphasize your point, the louder he gets. He gets. That's maybe what it is. Yeah, so. It's like nature trying to blank us out.